it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. I'm back today with another About Town Roundup. And I have lots of stuff this time. So you have probably seen some of my videos where um, I pick up individual items at um, usually my local Salvation Army. And one, two, one, two, three four five sorry there should be one more and I can't seem to see where it is oh well okay well I'm sure it'll show up um, anyway uh, here are some individual items I picked up I had to pick up these beautiful wedding cake uh, glass beads uh, it's a beautiful strand with a barrel clasp, but I will probably um, repurpose them because there's so much beautiful bead goodness in there. I mean, it's a beautiful necklace already. Um, when I purchase these, I usually buy them uh, three for $5.99 and then I get the seniors discount. You know, we have young seniors here in Canada. Um, so that is just, I, I saw that and I had to grab it right away. So that's so beautiful. And then I picked up this illusion necklace. Um, not because it was such a great illusion necklace, but because these are uh, freshwater pearls. Some of these ones with the flat sides on them, they call button pearls and the other ones are dyed. So uh, it's nice to have some gritty pearls that can be beautifully repurposed and it's not a bad clasp on there it's not uh, not silver or might be uh, just pressed aluminum but uh, not a bad clasp and then at the same time I also got this one um, and this is uh, the operaculum the uh, the closure on a snail shell that where it when it takes its body fully inside the shell it has us to close it off and it's been made into um, this focal part of a pennant you can see sort of that typical yellow uh, greenish brown color on it but this swirl um, is what uh, uh, made it you know immediately identifiable to me and I'm trying to remember where I saw the markings. I'm pretty sure they're actually inside the bale here. Um, yeah, you can see it says 925. So uh, this was a, a great deal. Well, that's 925 upside down. But anyway, you can sell this 925 silver um, for uh, less than $2. And then there has to be another piece hanging around somewhere because there's only two more. But this is some, some stone beads, probably impression jasper that have been dyed. But uh, great, a great long strand for bead, uh, for, uh, for jewelry making, I mean. And then my granddaughter and I are doing some projects where we repurpose um the fancy bezels from glasses, uh, from glasses, excuse me, from watches. <laughs> and uh, this one, so this one has lots of nice rhinestones around it. Uh, it probably would be a nice working watch, but we have lots of watches. It's an excellent shape, my, I should think. But, um, so we'll take this apart and repurpose this. And, you know, I can't find my, my sixth item. I don't know what I did with it. But if I find it uh, in the pile of stuff here that I have to show you, I will let you know. Um, I just gonna quickly. Oh, I found it. Okay. So I also picked up this cute little Leah Sophia necklace. It is a lovely little rhinestone flower, a uh, silver tone chain, and it's got a little tangle in it, but. There's the Leah Sophia tag. I thought this would be great for my granddaughter in the future. She loves jewelry. So there was uh, the six things I got from the Salvation Army. So on a couple of trips. Then I made some purchases from one of my great YouTube friends, Cindy Lovin. Cindy ha has auctions on, uh, every Monday. Um, what is it? six o'clock central time 
And I bought some things during the month of August. I won some giveaways. One I don't have. I've actually passed it on already. Um, but I bid on some things. There's a, just a couple of religious pendants. And this may or may not have uh, a mustard seed in the center here. This one's um, supposed to be a mustard seed pendant, but it actually has the mustard seed that you use for the, um, you know, making mustard, the mustard that we eat. And the actual mustard seeds from the Holy Land are like specks of pepper. I've actually seen them and been able to handle some. So this um, approximates that, but it's a cute little, it's a cute little mustard seed pendant. Um, and it goes with the, uh, the biblical verse. If you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could move mountains. And this tag on here says Monet. M-O-N-E-T, that's interesting, all uppercase. So I'll have to check that out further. So there were a couple of religious pendants I purchased from her. There was, I won a set of three buttons, and one was a sugar skull, and one was a cat doing something, and then there was the drink coffee and create one. My grandchildren made off with the... Uh, with the other two so I haven't got them to show you but because they like pendants and I've uh, they were here recently um, I also purchased this beautiful silver pin um, says sterling there and I'll have to look up what this says Looks like B F I G F M W, and that's probably a copyright symbol. But it's azurite, so malachite and lapis lazuli, on this beautiful sort of children around the world pin. And I thought that was just very very pretty, and I was the only one who bid on it. I think sometimes that happens, and then. No one bid on this, and I thought, and I thought, and I thought about it, and I said to Cindy, um, I'd like to buy this. This is actually silver. I can't get it to focus. It is an amazing uh, canateal butterfly pin. Look at the um, dimensions of it. Look at the shaping of it. Isn't that just gorgeous? The height? I don't know if I can... There. Get you to see that. And then it has... Uh, on the back, it just has a, a C clasp um, and a very long, prickly, uh, pointy, prickly thing. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to shine it up or if I'm just going to leave it tarnished to this extent. But I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. And Cindy's always so sweet. She send, sends a little thank you gift usually in the things that... Uh, she sends, so there's a little thank you. And Cindy's been doing, making junk journals and tags and master boards and doing jelly printing. So she made these two cards, or these a couple are a couple of the cards that she has made. And there's the one with the butterflies and a second one with the butterfly. And then the little envelopes with the decorations that go with them so a really sweet treat from uh, Cindy so if you look up Cindy loves jewelry on YouTube you will find her channel so she has Monday night auctions and then she has crafting and craft haul videos jewelry haul videos during the week I can't remember if she, I don't think she does something every day but she might she might then I'm going to include this next bunch of things in my jewelry haul because it was darn amazing um and actually i think i have more but there i think i won't i don't need to show everything so my local habitat for humanity restore for some reason had um 
beads and sterling bindings for sale. So you can see these are um, Preciosa rondelles, four millimeter rondelles for $2. Um, and there's a hundred uh, check fire polish beads. Um, these are um, toggle clasps in the shape of a flower, some uh, sliding clasps, two end sliding clasps, some more um, flower toggle clasps, some star shaped toggle clasps. Um, some more uh, copper colored uh, toggle clasps um, and then all of these different beads oh there's something too that I didn't buy so all these different um, rondelles in different sizes so I got the large ones the large um, fuchsia ones and uh, I think I got the large, medium, and the small. I tried to I try to coordinate things. So, forty pieces for five for two dollars Canadian or two fifty, is pretty good. Um, so six millimeter ones, four millimeter ones. What are these? Four millimeters. So there's some some light pink, some purple. There's some more um, toggle clasps, yeah, a copper one in with the sort of gold tone, antiques gold tone. And what else have we got? Oh, then I got these. This was a little more money. Ten pieces of sterling silver, 9 to 5 pendant crosses made in Israel. And I did test, and they are sterling. So I put everything back in the bags after I tested it, but did test. And then um, these are lobster claws made in Italy. Again, 925 sterling. Um, some more lobster claws. Sterling, sterling, sterling. Oh, these are sterling um, wire guardians that you put your wire through. At the, and then some more uh, lobster claws, some more lobster claws. And I bought, at the time, I bought a couple of these cable chains. They're made in Indonesia, but they are uh, sterling. And I gave one to my daughter because um, a necklace that she had that needed a sterling silver chain, the chain broke. Um, and then uh, once I compared the prices of these, I think these, the sterling chains were about six, were six dollars Canadian. I went back and bought a whole bunch more, um, because I have a couple of sterling chains of my own that have broken that, um, it's just impossible to fix these little teeny tiny rings. Um, and I thought it would also be great for, um, other jewelry that where I needed a silver chain. So 18 inch chains, there were some 16 inch chains and the prices were excellent. So that's a big haul that I got. And the money goes to support Habitat for Humanity. So um, a feel good thing all around. Then um, at Value Village, I got this pin and when I saw it, I thought, oh, I think that enamel is something I recognize. Let's see if I can get it off here to show you. And I was correct. So this is three fishes, or a crown and three fishes, or however you want to call that. There's the, the mark hidden right there by the uh, clasp. So uh, the British uh, company that makes... This, that amazing enamel work. And isn't that a beautiful, um, a beautiful pin of mo with movement, the flowers and the swirls. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, a senior's day is Tuesday. So I happened to be there on Tuesday and got it 30% off. Then I was uh, at another Value Village shopping trip and on a uh, seniors 
Tuesday and got one of these. I love these for my jewelry um, findings. This one, like it's a watchmaker's tin case. And this one actually happened to have some beads and stuff in it. So that was even more of a, a find. And I just, I've just started looking briefly. There's a little, a little necklace someone has made. Very, very lightweight. I'll probably take that apart. There's um, a tin full of rhinestones. Some of them, the uh, gold foil is damaged, but that'll be a great thing for me to go through and uh, check them out and see which are uh, suitable for using in jewelry. I'll put so I'll I'll uh, put those as my other rhinestones. There was some. These are obviously used rhinestones that uh, don't have the full gold foil on them. There we go. But they can be completely cleaned or they can be used in jewelry that um, where there might be a damaged rhinestone where it just might be the right size and color to match something vintage. Um, it is possible to refoil rhinestones but it's not an easy job and you have to use mirror paint and you have to stick them in clay or um, plasticine so that you don't get the paint on the surface one other thing i wanted to show you this was a gorgeous piece i guess of a necklace or i mean obviously it's been broken off of something um but isn't that pretty so I'll have to find a way to repurpose this. There's a rhinestone missing there, but that's not a big deal. Um, anyway, that was just a some of the bonus stuff that came in here. Lots of bugle beads. Um, not sure that's the best way to store that one, but anyway. So yeah, just a few other containers of beads in here. As I said, lots of bugle beads. So three of those. And then this is, I think, just miscellaneous beads. So it would be neat to find out the history of this, you know, what, how it all came to be, but that won't happen. But uh, it's interesting just to have the stuff and take it and, and turn it into nice jewelry. So um, no, I don't want to wreck this trying to put it back in there, so I'm just going to put it on top. So another uh, Value Village find. And, uh, and then, you know, my usual jewelry making things uh, on sale at Michael's. So Michael's clearance on wire, 20 gauge wire and tubes and cord ends and chains and rings uh, and other things. So I'm always picking up a few jewelry making supplies, uh, when they're on clearance because then the price is uh, usually right so i hope you enjoyed this about town roundup uh, my favorite things of course are the beautiful um can of teal butterfly can't be beat um this azurite and sterling pin my uh three fishes crown and three fishes uh pin and uh my other uh, sterling find the operaculum that pen it certainly could be taken apart and all kinds of things done with it and uh oh my wedding cake beads oh they're amazing those are just amazing beautiful beads thank you Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.